Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your September 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Leo. Let's get straight into your reading. Remember these readings won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. So let's pull your overarching energy for the month. I'm going back to using a template that I used when I started the channel. So just felt right to do that this month so we'll see what we get for you know that the readings can be a little bit longer and there's more cards to pull so if you want to fast forward by all means do a lot of people do like to participate in the reading and watch the shuffle okay what do we have for leo please overarching energy six of coins Okay, Leo, let's pull your general cards. I'm going to pull four general cards for you. Message for Leo, please. Thank you. Five of Cups. The Hermit. Eight of Cups. Strength card, there you are, Leo, back in your power. Okay, Leo, so we're going to look at love, romance, relationships for you in whatever context, but we'll pull two cards and an oracle card, and then we'll do money and career. So what do we have for love, romance, relationships for Leo, please, for September 2021, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Nine of Swords, Leo. The Chariot. And let's do Money and Career for Leo, please. Thank you. The King of Swords. And we have the Four of Swords there. Okay, Leo, I'm going to pull an Oracle card for Love, Romance, Relationships. So what do we have for Leo, please? Love, Romance, Relationships for September. Thank you. Huh. I've got Reconciliation. And Money and Career. What do we have for Leo, please? Message for Leo, Money and Career. Interesting, Leo. I've got Successful Funding. Okay, Leo, I'm going to pull an angel answer card for you now for the overarching energy of the month. What do we have for Leo for September? What does Leo need to hear, please? Angels, two cards. So we have meditation brings answers and we have improving health. You know, improving health, it can be your physical health. It can also be, Leo, financial health. It can be relationship health. I do see some improvement with the Hermit being here this month. Um, we have Meditation Brings Answers as well. So, Leo, the Six of Pentacles is an energy of... Somebody might be reaching out, offering you something this month. It might not be everything that you want. However... There is give and take here. There may well be some negotiation, um, but I, I feel it's what you need. It's what Spirit is saying, this is what you need. It's not necessarily what you want, um, but I, I do feel it's still of value to you. I mean, with it being uh, a spiritual energy, the Six of Pentacles, you're being told to take note of it here. You might be getting some answers. I mean, it might well be for some of you, you're finding answers from within. Again, that's very much the hermit energy. I also feel for some of you, you might be getting some answer this month as well. It's interesting because I have two answer cards here. So I, I really feel in this energy, you might be getting some kind of answer and I feel it's of value. It is restoring equilibrium in your life in whatever area. And we will look at the areas that this can affect for you. So, Leo... We have healing going on here. Healing, introspection, sound judgment calls. Um, 
and it's to do with the five of cups how do i heal and move on how do i um how do i move forward now this can be an energy of i hope all is not lost here in this situation uh, there is still hope around you. There is still potential around you. And this is going within and engaging with the present in terms of how you need to take action in your external environment through some deep introspection. So some of you are evaluating in terms of moving from maybe a situation of loss or regret or uh, something that's made you feel down to moving forward here. This is, I'm ready to take action. I'm ready to um, engage with the present and move forward to my future, maybe make some judgment calls here. Uh, you're finding wisdom and answer from within. So in which, which, whichever life area, like I said, we are covering quite a few. Um, Leo, I feel this is, you're moving on from disappointment. You know, yes, the Eight of Cups can be a card of walking away, but it feels in this energy more. It's to do with you, you reconnecting to who you are, you allowing yourself to go within, find answers on how to make some clear judgment calls now, generally to bring healing and health back into your life. And moving on from disappointment, moving on from... Uh, yeah, I just feel in this energy, you've done the past, you've you've done the kind of focusing on the past now. I feel some of you have made peace with what's, whatever's gone on with, with the past. This can be about feeling down, looking back, regrets, call it what you will, loss. But I feel that you're making peace with it now, Leo, and coming back to who you are. You know, the strength card is you reconnecting to who you are. It's a card of self-belief. You know, it's a card of empowerment. This is you being ready to face whatever you need to face and overcome it by being in your power, by having the courage to go for what you want now, you know? And move on from whatever disappointment has, has come your way. Disappointment, regrets, call it what you will. I feel you're putting this period of the five of cups behind you in whatever context that resonates for you because for some of you there is there is either some give and take here that is restoring valuable balance in your life or there is absolutely some somebody's reaching out offering you something of value again those energies can interchange there could be some give and take compromise um negotiation call it what you will but i do feel that things are improving for you now, Leo, the other thing that I'm getting for you as well, uh, some of you could have uh, or might be seeing uh, a complementary healer, you know, complementary therapy, complementary healer in whatever way. You might be considering that in some way. Um, I see that in the cards for some of you. And again, the message is that it's going to it's alter, put you back in your power, bring your strength back. Um, it just feels for some of you, you might be seeing some kind of complementary practitioner in some way, shape or form. And, you know, it does feel that that is, um, that's going to empower you this month. Again, these readings are not for everybody, so just bear that in mind. It might not resonate with everybody for you with that. Um, in terms of love, romance, relationships. Now, either there has been stress within a relationship um, I see the Five of Cups, which can be a card of regret. Uh, so there could be somebody regretting something. Uh, there could be loss in a situation. I feel in this situation, you're moving on from it this month. There is some reconciliation here. So we have someone in your past is returning to your life, but this is a card of reconciliation. So however, however this reconciliation um is representative for you in the energies. The Nine of Swords is you have been stressed, anxious, worried, overthinking. Uh, someone has been preying on your thoughts in some way. Now, again, in terms of relationships, this could be something that's affected your relationship or within a relationship. Um, the message is that you're going to move on from it. You know, the chariot is a card of overcoming obstacles, overcoming challenges and coming through it, claiming a victory, claiming the success. And it's, it's generally an energy of where 
there have been probably more than one obstacle to overcome. You know, it just feels like it's been a bumpy road. However, in this situation, we have the calm being restored. Now, there may well be in this situation, Leo, some give and take, some compromise um, to restore your the, the health of a situation, to restore the health of a relationship. So maybe some give and take, maybe giving away some ground, them giving away some ground. Both of you willing to put the energy and time into a relationship to bring that value and equilibrium back into your life. Interestingly enough, in Money and Career, we have successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships and other investments are available to help you. That might resonate for some of you. So there may well be a sum of money coming your way. Somebody may be reaching out, offering you this can be money. Um, it can obviously be in terms of opportunity as well. There's a kind of energy here. It might not be everything that you want, but it feels like it's enough. Because the Four of Swords is, you may have been um, trying to move on. You know, trying to move on from a situation that has been disappointing here. Uh, and there's an energy here of, okay, plan A didn't work, so let's look at plan B. Let's re-strategize. And this is about putting a plan into action, having the goal, being very clear of what you want. And that, that King of Swords energy is, is to plan the strategy. This, these are the steps that I need to take. He is the strategist, the visionary. And you're a very visionary energy. But this is somebody who not just has the vision, but the logic, the nous, the... The mental acuity to make it happen through you know someone who's very clever very switched on very fast thinking can see opportunities and understands when to seize them the king of swords so there's definitely an energy here leo in this in this reading um you might be putting some kind of plan into action and for some of you i feel somebody's reaching out offering you something Now, again, this could be a business advisor, a business consultant, somebody who's very, very switched on. So you might be meeting somebody. That could be your plan B is to, um, to, to, to talk to a third party or intermediary um, who can probably eyes or advise or uh, give you a sound guidance or be instrumental in bringing some sum of money your way. So Leo, all in all, it feels a very, very beautiful month. Uh, you're going to be, someone's reaching out, offering you something of value. Like I said, there could be some give and take here as well in terms of relationships. But I absolutely feel this is a card of restoring solid, valuable equilibrium in your life. And it feels very, very beautiful. So I'm going to pull you a final card you might be getting answers from somebody, you know, this funding, uh, the reconciliation, you might be getting the answer that you want this month. It feels that kind of energy. Oh my goodness, what did I say? Finding balance. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Leo, that is what I have for you. I hope you found the reading useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that. And I will see you next time. Thank you.